Hello there and welcome back to another video on my channel, how are we doing today? Just to let you know, both of the dogs are here and fast asleep next to me, so in case you hear snoring in the background, that is what it is. Also, my mum is in the background doing some work as well, so, you know, I can't guarantee you not hearing anything. But to continue with the video, today I thought I would tell you about what I got for Christmas this year, as I love everything and, you know, I like watching these videos on YouTube, so I thought why not give it a go myself? One of the first things I opened on Christmas Day was this top, as I actually wore this on Christmas Day. It was a part of my Christmas Day outfit, and it says Brussels Pouts. It's from Next, and I fell in love with this top the moment I saw it, and I said to my mum, if I don't get anything else for Christmas this year, I would be happy just getting this, so I'm really happy that I got it. The second thing, well, actually, it's not the second thing. I'm just going to tell you everything I got. I got these black thermal leggings and I'm actually wearing the what looking down the grey and white striped ones and I absolutely love them they're so warm and as you guys know I suffer really badly with the cold so these are absolutely amazing and I'm really happy that I got given them another of my presents was this movie night box which my mum got me well made for me it's an Amazon box with just movie night plastered all over it and on the inside who there are some popcorn because I really struggle with what I can eat at the cinema so popcorn is a really good thing for me especially seeing as these are gluten free which is amazing. The main reason I got this is because my mum actually bought me these sprout, oh I don't even know how to open these, these sprout pyjamas from Next. Look at it, look at it. For some reason Next have gone really sprouts this year and I Oh, I just love it. It's amazing. So I got the top. And then I got these trousers as well, which I think are really, really cool. And I love it. So that was the main reason that this whole thing happened. But then my mum also, and I don't quite see how this is a present for me, but my mum got herself some matching ones as well. <laughs> so when we have our movie night, we're going to have a matching Christmas movie night thing. The movie I got in the movie night was Four Christmases with, ooh, what's his name, her name, Reese Witherspoon and Vince Vaughn. I've never seen it. It's one of the few Christmas films I haven't seen, so I'm really excited to watch that with my mum. And I got a shed ton of Capri Suns because, again, it's very hard to buy drinks and that for me, so, you know, I drink these all the time, so it's amazing, and I'm really, really happy with this. I also got the Michael Buble... Is it? I don't know if it's called love or heart emoji or something and everything's falling in this room. I fell in love, what song did I fall in love with? I fell in love with the Love You Anymore song and I actually didn't know he was bringing out a CD in time for Christmas other than his normal Christmas CD which I've listened to constantly the last couple of weeks, months, months. And I'm really, really happy with this and I'm really happy that I got it. I got a cake tester which is something that is invaluable. <laughs> which is something that is invaluable with the work I do so I'm really happy about that. The next thing was this rolling pin which is a non-stick rolling pin from Hobbycraft but it's got a note on it and it says bought before I knew about the self-measuring one. Now that I will show you so this is the rolling pin that I got from my mum and then I got this rolling pin as well which is from Joseph Joseph and it's an adjustable rolling pin so it can roll things to different thicknesses and I think that's amazing because I really really struggle with rolling things out so this is perfect and I'm really thankful for my cousin for getting this for me. I got this night lavender spray which is essentially just to spray around my bedroom for when I'm getting ready to sleep because I find it quite hard actually dropping off to sleep so I'm hoping that this will work very well in that fact. A unicorn cookie cutter because I'm obsessed with unicorns and I love them and I can't wait to make cookies themed around them. I got some post-it index stickers. Now this is more of a business present and a lot of my presents were both personal and business because my mum also did me this Vicky's Adventure 2019 notebook. I got a notebook very very similar to this actually pretty much identical to this last year and I've lived in it getting everything down writing everything down so this is effectively going to become my bullet journal slash work workout stuff you know everything to do with my business is going to go in here and these are really going to help because they're just going to separate everything out in my head for me so at least I know 
certain things are in certain places. It may take me a while to find things, but until you get used to something, you're not going to. So I got this place placemat coaster. I got this coaster which says hot chocolate is like a hug from the inside, which I saw when we were actually getting coasters for other family members of mine. We always go to the same place every year as they set up a stall for December and November and things like that for Christmas presents and I saw this and I just said that's me because I constantly have hot chocolate it's one of the few drinks that I have on a daily basis and then my mum was very very kind and got me these little display plates from the white company and it actually came 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 in these beautiful box which I love and I'm going to keep hold of because it's just beautiful. But these were absolutely stunning and the original and gorgeous. So, Mum, you have really good taste and you know me very, very well. The next sort of gift, next sort of gifts? The next gifts I got were the DVD of Crazy Stupid Love because I have a hundred times seen the bit where they all have the massive fight at, close to the end on Instagram and I find it hilarious because I had no clue what it was about and then my cousin actually put the film on but I was working so I had a bit of it working bit of it working and my mum bought it for me so I could see the entire thing which I'm very very happy about I then got this book which I've wanted for ages it's act like a lady lady act like a lady think like a man by Steve Harvey I love watching Steve Harvey on YouTube. I think he makes a lot of sense. I think he's incredibly funny. And I was interested to see what he had to say on a lot of this because I tend to agree with a lot of what he has to say. So I'm very interested to read this and work through it because I'm going to start dating at some point and I don't really have much clue on what I'm going to do. So, you know, education, education, education. This is the book that my mum thought I was talking about and so she bought this for me. It's called Straight Talk No Chaser. I actually have no idea what this is about. What does it say it's about? Yeah, I can't read that quickly. I have absolutely no idea what it's about, but I cannot wait to read it and see what it says and see if it's actually... Because... Oh, it's from... This one came first and then it was this one. So I'm going to read these, this one first, this one second and see how I get on with them. Now, as you guys know, I am completely obsessed with Rosanna Panzino and Nerdy Nummies. I love her, I love her channel, I love everything about it. So I got given this unicorn cupcake decorating kit made by her, specifically from her show. And I cannot wait to use it. I love unicorns, as I said earlier, and I, oh, I just can't wait. Now, I like to view this present, uh, this next present as slightly as a threat because it says your challenge, should you choose to accept it, is to open the box and accept your fate. Now, this terrified me quite a lot when I opened it. So I opened it and it said, once opened, you will be deemed to have accepted the challenge, which again is quite terrifying. So it actually turns out that my grandmother and my mother have bought me a load of herbs for me to grow over the next year and I'm going to blog about it and talk about it on here because I've got a little greenhouse that I bought from Ikea about three years ago and it's the perfect place to store these herbs and my challenge is to grow them, grow them well and to actually begin coming up with a recipe to use them in so that is all very exciting because I have wanted to grow herbs for a very long time and this is going to push me into it. Then I got another book by the lovely Steve Harvey, which is Act Like a Success, Think Like a Success, which is going to apply very well to my business year this year, as I need a lot of help with what I'm doing. And he effectively had the same sort of thing that I'm going through, where you start from nothing and you build your way up. So I'm really excited to read this and give this a go as well. Now, I am overrun with cookbooks, as you know, from my cookbook collection 2018 video that I filmed a couple of months ago I think it was and so you know I didn't want to ask for many cookbooks I have many cookbooks that I want to get but I got given this it is Jamie Cooks Italy and I absolutely just love the look of it it looks stunning and it's really going to help because Jamie Oliver has come up with loads of cookbooks and it's going to help me for my research for when I create my cookbook and I cannot wait to just try everything about this and just go through it with a fine tooth comb now this next lot of presents is specifically from my grandmother with a lot of help from my mother. I got a bottle of Schler, which is one of my favourite all-time drinks, so I'm very happy about that. And I tend to only drink it at special occasions, so again, 
very happy about it. I got some cookie cutters, which are just gorgeous. One of a teacup, one of a cupcake, one of a teapot. And last but not least, I got this. Move that over there. Another cookbook, which is Baking All Year Round by Rosanna Panzino. I have wanted this since I knew she was coming out with it. But again, as I say, I've got loads of cookbooks. I did not want to ask for another one. But I am very, very happy that my grandmother, my mother, bought this for me. <laughs> and I'm very, very happy about it. It looks stunning and beautiful. And I cannot wait to give these recipes a go. This next item I actually got as a part of my... Christmas Day outfit. It is a dungaree corduroy dress with a gigantic pocket on the top, which I can't show in perfect view. Hold on, there we go. I absolutely loved it. It was lovely to wear. It's slightly too small for me, but this year I'm really hoping to lose some weight, so that's all going to be perfect. And it was beautiful and really, really comfortable. Now, you guys know what I'm like with my chest. It is ridiculous, and so I have to wear a lot of scarves. And I also wear scarves just for warmth in general, so I got this beautifully soft, warm, blue jump jumper scarf. It is gorgeous. It is super soft, and I love it. It's like a freaking blanket. Next, I got this beautiful ornament from my nephew. It is stunning. So it's got Santa holding presents on both sides. I don't actually have a Christmas tree and I haven't really been able to have one this year. But when I do, this is going to be one of the first ornaments on it. I also got another one of these night lavender sprays for my father's, which I've stupidly forgotten to leave there. So I need to remember to take one back with me. I got some Winnie the Pooh socks and I really need to sort out my socks so I'm really glad that I got some new ones it's really weird because you when you're a child you think oh socks how is that a good present and then you're an adult and you're like yes <laughs> every time you get them you're like yes socks Woohoo! I tend to only wear one type of perfume and it happens to be this one which is ghost the fragrance I love this perfume it is amazing and I actually bought this for my sister for her birthday as she liked the smell and I also like that it came with a candle in it so I cannot wait to light these and use these that is going to be run out by like what May so it's going to be really well used the next item I got were some gloves now gloves not necessarily the most amazing or expensive of presents not that they have to be but they are amazing because they are super super long which is great and two I can't actually handle this bit being all the way down here to the all the way down your fingers I it's OCD I, I can't have it it's like nails on a chalkboard for me I just can't deal with it so my mum actually bought these gloves unstitched the top measured them so that they would go above that part of my hand and sew, sew them sewed them sewed them back up again and that just shows how well she knows me and I think they're great. So these gloves, plus this, plus my dog walking coat, I'm going to be set for the winter now. The next thing I got was this film, which is Dr. Jackal and Mr. Hyde. That is, this film is something that I've been really, really interested in and I really want to read the book. And I think I've got the book somewhere in storage. But it's something that I, as I say, it's just been something that I'm really, really interested in for a long time. And I'm really excited to watch it. This year I watched The Shining on my dad's birthday and I really, really loved it. I think it's an excellent film. I was terri I wasn't I was terrified about watching it because I was known as one of the most terrifying films there ever is known to mankind. And I watched it and I actually wasn't scared. I was just super impressed with the acting ability and the way it was made. I thought it was excellent. And so I got the book and I'm about a hundred pages through the book. So I got about 100 pages through and then they've just arrived at the hotel and I'm quite scared to read it now because I think the book is going to be a lot scarier than the film but I am trying to finish it it's not going very well but I'm going to try and I told my mum that there was a second part to The Shining which is when I was doing a review for it for the film when I was doing a review for the film I did some research on it and I watched a video and it said there were, that there was a second book to it. So I told my mum, and guess what she got me? She got me The Shining Part 2, which is when Danny is grown up. And I cannot wait to read this. How many pages is it? That interests me. Oh, quite a few. So I'm really excited to read this. This next film I got was Top Hat. Now, the story behind this was that 
One, this is second hand because if my mum bought it full price it would have been £40 from new which is insane so I'm very glad that she didn't do that and second of all I both all me my mum my grandmother and my uncle watched Holiday Inn and it's the first time I'd ever seen it and I think it's probably the first ever film I'd seen Fred Astaire in and he's very very famous very very fam very very famous dancer and everything like that and I said to everyone that I've never actually seen him do anything. You hear like 100 greatest dancers and things like that. And I'd never seen him do anything. And they said, everyone said, oh no, you must see him do it with Ginger Rogers. And this is what this is for. So it's both m a memory jogger for me. And it's just going to be really, really fun to watch. And I cannot wait to watch it. This next book I got was The Crucifix Killer by Chris Carter. I read, I think, the book before this on holiday this year and it introduced me to the character of... What's his name? Robert Hunter, that's his name. Robert Hunter. And I absolutely loved the book. It's a complete page-turner. It was great. And it's as addictive as a TV box set, which is what is written on the front. And I 100% agree. So I cannot wait to give this a go and see if I have the same opinion continuing forward. Now I told you how much I love socks, so my mum got me these Be A Unicorn socks. Now, the interesting thing about these is that none of them match, they're all different, you can see them here. Here, they're all different designed, so they're odd socks. And I have like 50 million socks, and I swear the other half to them, practically all of them have all gone missing. So this is going to be really interesting, and I just, as you know, love unicorns, so it was a win-win. This next present is specifically from my dad and it's because he knew how much I'd fallen in love with The Greatest Showman this year. I didn't actually know they were doing another soundtrack for it and then when I did, because I th I heard Pink's version of a, is it A Million Dreams she does? Yeah, A Million Dreams and I was obsessed with it so my dad picked this up for me and I cannot wait to listen to it. I'll need to set up my CD player so that I can and I'm really, oh, I'm just uh, so excited to hear it because I've been listening to it on YouTube non-stop. This, one of the final gifts I got for Christmas was Carry On Screaming. Now, the funny thing about this is that it was actually on TV on Christmas Day and I knew it's one of my mum's favourite films ever or favourite of the Carry On saga films. So I thought, oh, mum, I'll put that on for you. And she would say, no, no, darling, don't need to watch it. So I watched a bit of it, but then I needed to make some food, so I did watch all of it. And I couldn't believe when I opened it, I was just like, oh <laughs> so that was quite funny and a memory to have and i cannot wait to watch this with my mum as i say it's one of her favorite films so i'm really excited to watch it with her right i'm just going to cover two things quickly one there are some nutters outside making a shed load of noise and i have no idea why and two i am recovering from a cold so if you can hear noises and you can hear my voice changing which i can tell that it has that is what it is but to continue this next thing i'm going to show you is actually on Shep. My mum bought Shep a collar this year and it's mainly because it's got a medallion on the front or a, a, it is a medallion isn't it? And it's actually got his name and my phone number on it so god forbid I ever lost him because he does travel with me everywhere. God forbid I ever lost him there would be a phone number for me on there and they could just call me and I could go get him if they're kind enough to do that. So that's probably the most one of my most favourite presents because it's so heartfelt and he's he's my rock effectively. You know, you grow up with pres uh, with toys and my cousin has a blanket and things like that that never leave you and he's that for me. So I'm really really happy about that and yeah, I just am. Now, this is another present from Shep for Shep and it's this blue apron as you will know from my what I got for my birthday this year, which I'll link in the description. I got a Star Baker apron for my birthday and this matches that so that will just go on him whenever I do baking videos and the thing, the note on it is matching Mummy Love Santa which I absolutely love and it's so cute and I can't wait to put him in it because he's just going to be stunning in it. Now this final from what I can show you in this video because I've got two more presents that are currently on the way as they were quite expensive and I wanted to try and get them in the after Boxing Day sales. So they're currently on their way to me as they speak, as I speak to you. But these are amazing. They're little Santas that sit on your glasses rims. So hold on, let me get them on so I can show you. 
So this is just going to stay in like family tradition for years to come. So let's just get that on there. This is one. Where's the other one? And my dad actually got the same present, so I'm really happy about that because me and my parents can match now. See, look. Hey, Santa's on me. So, and as I've just said, both of my main presents are on their way to me in delivery as I speak to you. But that is everything that I got for Christmas. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments of how your Christmas was as I'm really excited to read about it. I will try and link as many of the items that I got for Christmas in the description below for you. And finally, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe if you want to see more. And I will see you next time. Bye!